Hi, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver, and I want to talk to you today about neck adornment when you have a large beard. Now, my beard is medium large. It's not at my goal. My goal is the third button of my dress shirt, as you've heard me say in the past. But one of the things I noticed after my beard cleared my face was that whenever I wore anything, and I'm a bow tie guy, when I have a shadow beard, let's say at about a one or two level, a bow tie looks fantastic. All right. And then you get to the point where you can't even wear a bow tie because it gets covered by your beard. I would call this a medium large beard. It's not a large beard yet. And we like long beards. Remember, not wide beards. Most people anyways, the urban beardsman, the guy who has to do business with people. I work in a salon every day, so I dress up. I iron a shirt, I put on a suit, I put on a vest. And I've noticed that my style has had to change a little bit since my beard has gotten huge. For instance, now, us beard guys, it's a compliment when someone looks around you and says, oh, you're wearing a bow tie. We like it when the bow tie is completely covered up by a beard. It's kind of a fun thing. But it makes you think, like, why should I even wear a bow tie, right, if no one can see it? If you're the only one that knows you have it on, why should you have a bow tie on? So I stopped wearing normal bow ties. And also... One of the reasons is when you have something coming out from your shirt collar, we like a sleek look as, for lack of a better term, urban beardsmen. I'm not talking about Duck Dynasty or Oak Ridge Boys looking kind of beards, that kind of thing. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you choose. I choose a more uh, professional, I have to do business with people. So my image sells my product, which is cutting hair. But I find that when I wear a regular bow tie, it pushes my beard out. And when I turn, it kind of messes it up. And then I find myself just always kind of combing it down because I want a, a long beard, not a wide beard. So then I went from a, this is like a normal bow tie. I don't tie bow ties. I'm just too lazy, so I buy the clip-on ones. This is a normal size bow tie. Okay, let me put it near my face so you can see the actual scale of it. Okay, normal size bow tie. Then, uh, here's another one, and they do range in uh, various sizes. This one's a little bit bigger, but because these points go up a little more, when I turn my head, it messes up the beard a little bit. So this is pretty standard for a bow tie that you would get at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Macy's, any department store, that type of thing. Another one. I used to make my own bow ties out of ties because I have a million ties like every man and I would actually make ties and I would buy those clips that you used to see on ties, on bow ties when you were like four. And I bought these clips and I would make bow ties out of ties. When I don't have a beard or a very close goatee, these are fun. I just enjoy it, but it's huge and it doesn't work with a big beard. The other thing that works when your beard starts to get medium large is smaller bow ties. Here's standard bow tie you buy in a department store and a smaller bow tie. Here's an even smaller one. I don't know if you can see that. And for a while this was working for me because it could sit underneath the beard uh, or the beard would kind of sit on it and it wouldn't really interfere with the beard too much. And then it just got to the point where it was just kind of futile wearing a bow tie at all. And then I discovered Texas ties, which kind of, they work well with a vest and only with a vest because it looks stupid without one. And it's like a little bit of a Western look. And this, again, is a clip-on, but it goes like this. So it has like these ribbons and these tassels coming down. And that way, it's, it gives it kind of a Western look. Um, I like it, even though you can't see <clears throat> the tie part these tassels are pretty good. Now, of course, when I'm trying to make a video, the fire engines are going by and the whistles are going off. I apologize for that. I'm not making another video. I'm just going to blow through this one here. Last summer when I tried making videos, the landscapers came by and I had like five guys with weed whackers and lawnmowers just buzzing around my house for an hour and it was driving me crazy and I just stopped. So I said, from now on, I'm tired of scripting all my videos. I used to script everything and put it on a teleprompter and cue cards and everything like that. And nothing ever worked out because I don't have a real studio where I can control the conditions. So 
That's the way that goes. But one of the best things that I've done is just go back to regular ties. No one sees the knot, they just see the tie. Can, I don't know if you can see this. But a, a nice tie coming down, and I tend to wear everything from traditional paisleys and florals to just funky stuff that looks like artwork from a, a kindergarten class. Ties work really well. The other thing that works well is buttoning the top button. When I don't have a big beard, buttoning the top button looks kind of odd, doesn't it? I mean, like, you never button the top button. But one of the reasons why I do is when I leave it unbuttoned, these collars kind of mess up the beard a little bit. So when you button it, the beard falls down right over the collar, and it looks pretty good. Especially for me, wearing a black shirt with the beard coming down. I think yesterday's video, um, the one with the cigars in it, I had a black shirt on, so you could see the white beard. I like wearing things that are uh, contrasting colors to my to my beard. Now, the, now that my beard has turned white, I find myself wearing more darker shirts because it emphasizes the beard more. But today I'm wearing a, a white shirt, a vest, and a tie to work. So I'm going to put this tie on today before I head to the salon. The other thing that you can do, another option for neck adornment or non-neck adornment and how to deal with collars and necks when you have a bigger beard is there used to be a thing called a Nehru shirt. And there was another name for it, I forget, but it had some kind of like ethnic implication. So now we have to just like whitewash everything. We got to take ethnicity out of everything now. And they call it a grandpa collar shirt. Okay, grandpa collar. I never heard of that before until like the past five years. So it's basically, it looks like a dress shirt with no pointed collar on. It just has like this little band going around that you button at the top. And I started buying a couple of those. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not. So I got a couple at a thrift store. And they work really well because they sit close to your neck without being tight. You don't feel like you're being strangled and your beard just goes over them. So if you want to wear a vest with them, you can. You can still wear a suit coat. And they work uh, pretty well with when you have, uh, I would say, a medium to large beard. They work pretty well. And it looks good buttoned up to the top. Now, like I said, I would never wear a dress shirt buttoned to the top if I didn't have a beard. It just looks odd. You know, when you see someone like that, you just want to go up and like undo their button. But this is acceptable. Now today, like I said, I'm wearing uh, dress pants, a white dress shirt, uh, a vest, and a tie. So this will be my attire for the salon today. I hope this helps. Uh, talking a little bit about neck adornment and big beards. These are questions that we deal with all the time, especially for the guys that want a sleeker, groomed beard. Something long, not wide. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is George Bruno, the Sultan of Silver. You can find me on Instagram, at George A. Bruno, on Facebook as George Bruno Luxury Hair Experience, and my website, georgebruno.com. I would love to cut your hair or trim your beard, whether you're a man or a woman. Well, if you're a man, I'll trim your beard, hopefully not a woman. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it.